from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. I don't think he's having a go, Dale. He's not too happy about it. So he goes forward now, Scott. Chips forward. Play leading up. And a good, strong mark. And take there by Calder, I think, coming out from the forward line. And Calder has taken the mark. Sam Calder, he'll go back and have a shot from goal from 25 metres out on a 45-degree angle. He uh, probably hasn't been noticeable today. Paul came with a big reputation from Leopold, I think. Yeah, he uh, you know, hasn't had the greatest of days, but uh, you know, he's probably been a little bit overshadowed by uh, Costello and McLeod up there at the moment. So Calder comes in, left foot kick on goal, going across the front, and will go through for a minor score. So Sam Calder registers his first score of the afternoon, 19 goals, 7 now. Thompson, they lead North Geelong, 10 goals, 10, 23. About a half minute's gone. Fourth quarter, Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. So game winding down, as Dale mentioned a moment ago. The sting really gone out of it. The uh, kick in came to Swenison over the top there to Hutchinson. Hutchinson out wide, finds Fletcher. Fletcher now back in board, just uh, holding control of the footy north as Barnett takes the mark. They're still only just outside defensive 50. Barnett now, that's not such a good kick on. Looking for Allsop at the uh, half forward flank, comes to ground. Kennedy doesn't take the ball. Jones does. Kennedy wins it back, however. Handball back to uh, Hutchison. Hutchison with that explosive pace off the mark. Good kick to position, but good defence there by Dowie for Thompson. Gets some support from Jerkovic. Handball back to Dowie. And now to the middle of the ground goes Thompson. And uh, Mark taken there by Calder again. Now to Curtis. And they've broken it open here as... Uh, Wallace, not a good kick to Wallace. He's got away from Swenison. Has to go back by hand to Curtis. He's got some support there from Calder. Calder, uh, Curtis now over the top to Wallace. He should waltz into the open goal here, but goes for Costello. Costello, he'll waltz into the goal square and he will kick goal number six. And uh, he's worked very, very hard there, Costello. Had a, a kick in a few moments ago up in the back pocket. And now he's kicked the 20th goal for the Thompson side. 20 goals, 7-127. They lead North 10 10 70. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 25 minutes gone. So we're back in the centre ground. Umpire's whistle's gone. It's a free kick and it's going to go to North Geelong. Weiss to take the kicks from the centre of the ground. From someone overstepping the mark. It looks like Hood. He's complaining out in the far side of the ground. He hasn't moved, Hood. He's still outside the line. <laughs> so the umpire, <laughs> sorry, the umpire. Weiss now kicks forward, finds Zitko outside 50. So Mario Zitko. Maybe a late chance for North Geelong to score a goal in the last quarter. Kicks the ball to the goal square. Allsop going back with the flight of the ball. Puts one hand up. Ball's knocked down. Picked up there by Lennon. He goes outside the square. Finds Menzies. Short kick. Dale Menzies steadies himself now. Looks further afield. Players moving his Lanyon. He's going to go to that play now on the half-back line. Outside 50. He takes the mark. Lanyon plays on handball, puts the player under pressure there in Matthews, but he's able to get the kick away. Only as far as Fletcher for North Geelong, centre wing. Puts it back to the hot spot. Chris Barnett drifts into the hole, supported there by Allsop, and Chris Barnett will go back from inside 50 and have a chance for a shot on goal. So Allsop's gone short, still there. Player sees him now in Barnett, and Allsop from 35 to 40 metres out directly in front will go back. I can guarantee he won't pass the ball on this occasion. <laughs> So all slop. You'd like, as I said before, I'd like to see this bloke get 30 or 40 kicks a game because they can be very, very constructive. So he goes back, ambles in at goal. Nice looking kick off the boot. It goes through for a major. So that's his second goal of the afternoon. So 27 minutes gone in the last quarter now as Weiss finishes off with another tap down. Mitchell comes in. He's immediately uh, tackled by, uh, that was Watts. And... Uh, one came off the wing, the other off the half-forward flank and uh, met where the ball was. So this time, Weiss again. Well, <laughs> I think he might have got a tap in the ear then in that contest, but the ball comes out uh, for Lennon of Thompson. Over to Hood. Hood across the back from whence it's come. Riley takes the mark, keeps running, goes towards... Uh, his teammate there, not a good effort there by Curtis, tried to use the body. However, it does cause a turnover. It's gone to Jerkovic, no one in the goal square. He could go uh, th that way if he wants, but it's a marking contest between Swenison and uh, his opponent, Wallace. Swenison wins out. Handball over to uh, Bryant. Bryant now, middle of the ground. North Geelong in the ascendancy with numbers there. That's taken by McKnight. He goes across the ground looking for and finding Watts. What's now? Handball to uh, Fletcher, who's still running. And now they go looking for uh, a forward. But they don't seem to have had forwards in this last quarter as uh, 
Uh, Zitko went for that. Uh, now he Good puts chase. a great tackle on uh, the, the player. No talk from the Thompson defence. And Zitko, to his credit, kept chasing after uh, he missed the mark and uh, caused the free kick there. He's 60 metres from goal. Chips it inboard. But, oh, Dow, he read that well. Takes the mark. Handball over the top to Lanyon. Lanyon now away for Thompson. Goes out wide. And, uh, well, Costello used the body well. When the whistle went, I thought it may have been a free kick. But there it is. The siren's gone. It's all over here at Osmond Park in our match of the day. And Thompson have run out winners. 20 goals, 7, 127. Defeating North Geelong, 11, 10, 76. Good afternoon. Great, great to have you on board. And... Uh, Congratulations on a good win. At the end of the day, it was um, a four-quarter team effort. Yeah, it was. Look, I thought we controlled uh, the game pretty well. Just a 10-minute patch in the uh, in the third quarter there where we really let them back in the game. But, look, we spoke about it. It was a real clutch win for us. We had to win it. We've uh, got Karai next week, which will be a tough game for us. And, look, we just cannot afford to turn anything worse than uh, two and two. So uh, it was good in the end. The young North Geelong side, they served it up to you for three quarters. Yeah, they certainly did. They had three or four kids out of their under-18s, and, uh, and they were terrific, I thought. Um, gradually, we just wore them down, though, physically, and, uh, and it was a good win in the end. And how much of a bonus to have a Jackson McLeod kicking seven and a Greg Costello kicking six up forward for you? Yeah, it's certainly a bit of a luxury. Um, last year, we probably uh, struggled a little bit for avenues to goal, and um, bringing in Greg Costello from, uh, from Newcomb, uh, certainly taking a little bit of pressure off the forward line, and, uh, and Jackson's hands were terrific today, I thought. Over, over the day, and, and it's obvious what sort of a game st style you're trying to play, over did the handball a little at times, but it's necessary in the development of your game? Yeah, exactly right. Look, we realise we're going to turn the ball over a little bit, especially by hand, but um, it's certainly a game plan we're trying to do, and um, it's, a, it's a game plan that works when we'll get it right. We've got the skill level to execute it, I believe, so it'll, uh, it'll come for us in the end. Glenn, you touched on uh, Costello there being brought in because you needed more forward, haven't you? Did you bring him in as a forward? He played most of his football in defence at Newcomb. Yeah, he has played most of his football in defence. Uh, look, we talked to him for a fair while and he was um and ah about coming to the club and uh, very, very keen to get up the ground, whether it be in a centre-half back capacity or, uh, or up forward. And look, we tried him in the pre-season at, at centre-half forward and he looks terrific. He's a wonderful kick of the footy, so as you saw today, if he gets it within 50, he's uh, more than likely going to shoot him up and uh, kick a goal for you. So... We are certainly with Nick out at the moment for us uh, with a with a dislocated broken finger. Um, yeah, he's been great up there. Just noticed sort of last week in Belize game, you've probably put behind you. Uh, you come to the wide open spaces of Osborne Park. You now go to Corio next week, which I think is a little bit smaller and tighter. Do you prefer, you know, is the game more central on these open spaces and getting to St Albans later in the year to the space or, you know, are you working, you know, for the smaller grounds? No, absolutely. Look, it's something uh, we've got a very strong rotation amongst their midfield as well and everything's geared up to play at uh, St Albans in the final series. So, look, a big ground suits us down to a ground, especially with, uh, with the style of play we're, we're aiming for. So, look, no doubt, yeah, we, we're suited to a, a larger ground, but we've still got to be good on the smalls. And, look, we really broke down on half forward last week, so we'll certainly be um, trying everything to fix that in the coming week. Glenn, uh, we thank you for your time. It's uh, fantastic that uh, you've seen fit to come and say good day to us and uh, hopefully introduce yourself to the Geelong District Football League followers because uh, I'm sure we're going to see a bit more of you as the year goes by. So uh, thank you for your, for your efforts. We have a judged uh, the commentator's best player as uh, Jackson McLeod. So if I've got a medallion here if you'd like to take that with you when you go. But we thank you for your time.